Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, we'll discuss about whether you should come to UK or rather you can go to US or somewhere else. So we will discuss about all those things and it's good to know that you guys are keeping a close eye on everything what is going on here in the UK. If you are interested to come here because it's very important to see how a country is doing because it also affects on the job market. So we'll discuss everything in this video. Uh, and I will try to look into this thing from a various different perspective uh, so that you can make your better informed decision but before anything we discuss here or I put forward my own thoughts I would like to know your thoughts like which country you are preferring right now if you have to go to a particular country for your masters which country you will pick uh, the idea behind this is I don't want to influence anyone I want to just provide the useful information so if you put down your comments right now uh, you will know that what was your thought and after watching this video you can be like okay my thought was good or not uh, and then based on that you can make a decision but instead you should not be influenced by my uh, words rather you should uh, just take into consideration what i'm saying and then make your own decisions uh, based on your own uh, condition so yeah that's the idea so pause this video right now and comment uh, uh, your thoughts in the comments which country you would prefer if you have to go for masters right away so yeah with that being said let's start our discussion but as always before moving further if you are new to this channel please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming cradle family and also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and also if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys and I also uh, live stream on Saturdays 12 p.m. BST so you can join there as well or if you have any other questions you can post in the comment section I'll be more than happy to reply those so with that being said let's start our discussion so the first thing is if you are a student and if you are coming to the UK uh, the thing is if you want to pay your university fee of course you will be converting it from Indian rupees or if you are coming from some other country you will have to convert it into pound and then pay it to the university so if we see that way I think pound is quite low at this point when I came last year it was around 100 102 something like that so if I had to pay my fees it was around 20,000 pound so I had to take a loan of around 20 lakh or something so 20 lakh Indian rupees but if you are coming right now in the UK uh, I think the uh, I think the rates are around uh, 92 Indian rupees as opposed to one pound so something like that so you will have to pay like significantly less you can save around uh, 2 lakh Indian rupees in that so if you have to pay around 20,000 pounds something like that so you will save quite a lot a lot of money um, for me I think 20, uh, 2 lakh is actually a significant amount so you will save a lot of money um, but if you are someone who is working in the UK and you have to send money back to India it is actually a loss because then you will be able to send less money in Indian currency so that is there so as a student I think uh, if we see it from the perspective of uh, fees paying fees to your university it's actually a really good thing and good time to come to the UK uh, but then but also the thing is you have to look into the job market how is it and to be honest uh, most of the bigger companies they have stopped hiring so they are not hiring uh, many people but there are still lot of openings out there uh, if you go to LinkedIn and if you just put a filter UK and search for whatever job you are looking for so let's say if you are looking for a data scientist job go there and you just scroll like you will find hundreds and hundreds of jobs but then again uh, the market is really competitive you should also look into how many people have applied for that particular role so but then that is not just for UK it is highly competitive anywhere else so I uh, recently I talked to one of my friends she is studying in Canada so same is the case there I also have her uh, student experience video on my channel so do check out that if you are interested into Canada uh, so yeah the situation is same literally everywhere uh, even in US because I was talking to my friend uh, in US so the case is same there as well uh, competition is really high jobs are there for sure everywhere but uh, competition is really high uh, but yes all the big companies they are stop hiring for now uh, because of all the inflation and uh, things which are going on here in the UK so things are not looking good and I, will, I was also analyzing the past chart of uh, pound to Indian rupees uh, whatever I could found online so I was looking at the past dip so right now uh, the pound has reached its bottom for sure well I can't say for sure because nothing can be certain it can even go down because 
it all depends on the policy which the government will bring so if they bring some good uh, policy probably it can go up and uh, the economy would look really good but uh, if they do something which is not good uh, so again pound can fall even further so that's there but if uh, we think in a long term perspective i think it will take around 2 year or maybe more to come back to the previous levels so because i was looking at the chart which i told you earlier Uh, it takes around two year or maybe more to reach back to those levels, so it will take that time. And your course will be for one year, so probably you will have to struggle for another year, maybe. But I think things start to grow uh, better. And also, when the currency or any chart starts to grow, it uh, usually beats the previous highest point. So probably it will go beyond one hundred to one hundred three. Maybe it can reach five, one hundred five or one hundred ten as well. uh so that's there uh if we talk about us so um, us dollar is actually really strong right now so if you go to us again you'll have to pay lot of indian rupees as compared to pound because the pound is uh, sorry a uh, dollar because dollar is currently really strong right now and uh, but then if you go there if you are working uh, at part time then you will be work you will be earning in dollar as well and then you if you want to send money back to your home i think uh, you will be able to uh, convert that amount into lot of indian rupees so that is something which you need to see uh, if you are mainly focused on just studies i think it's fine if you still want to come to uk because for a year Uh, probably the rates will be less so if you are transferring money from india uh, you will have to transfer less amount and you will save quite a lot of indian rupees but uh, after that uh, it will again slowly start to improve and then when you will start earning in pounds and if you are planning to send your money back to india then probably it will have less value so in that regard uh, us is better uh, in terms of job market like i told you it's competitive everywhere but uh, jobs are there in all the countries so you have to really focus on your uh, technical skills rather than worrying about how the competition will be and also you should focus on your portfolio and i also have a video where i've discussed uh, how you can work on real world projects so again i will leave a card somewhere here you can watch uh, that video as well uh so yeah those are my thoughts so if i have to just summarize uh, if you are a student and if you're just looking to study and transfer money from india to uk i think that you can you can still come to uk no worries at all but if you are someone who is planning to uh, work part time and then send money back home to support your family then probably us is a better option right now uh, in terms of job market everywhere it's competitive so you need to work on your technical skills and also communication skills is very important so you need to focus on that as well so yeah uh, this is my thought and do let me know what do you think about it uh, do you agree with me or not uh, what is your preferred location so yeah uh, do let me know in the comment section i'll be very happy to uh, know your thoughts with that being said uh, you can download the data science notes link is in the description you can join our telegram group uh, we have a good community there so lot of discussions goes going going on there as well so you can check out that uh, so yeah uh, see you in the next video bye happy learning don't forget to subscribe share like and comment all those good things so yeah